Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spiritual Readiness on the Time of the Shift. Uh, recently, a former student of mine contacted me asking me for my opinion about a very specific modality uh, that she was becoming aware of if I had heard anything about it. Uh, and I did not, and I was not clear about how to respond because I didn't have any information. I did Google uh, the modality, found some pictures. The long and the short of it, these individuals are, playing, are claiming through the modality that they are, they, they are um, teaching that they can remove karma. Listen to me. If anybody is claiming this, run. Whether it is a teacher, a healer, a modality, run. God cannot remove your karma. No one can. As a matter of fact, it's your responsibility to balance your karma and remove your shame. When somebody is claiming this, and I have experienced this um, um, I, um, multiple times in my studies in the, uh, on the spiritual path, where people were claiming to do this, and what they were doing is that they were courting uh, individuals to them. I have witnessed, this is an old template that came from the old avatar, called the Sin Eater Program. And that template is now broken in the age of Aquarius where all men and women are supposed to become God and goddesses. Now, this is not completely the fault of the specific modality or teachers who are bringing that. They are capitalizing on the fact that there are individuals out there who are seeking a hack a quick way to get around things and not doing the real work because they're spiritually lazy. There's a lot of it out there that's going on. People who think that they can ascend in a few months or a year at the most, and who are walking around after going through a modality training claiming that they are ascended masters. First of all, a modality is not ascension. It's a healing technique. Ascension is transcendence out of this reality. And for that to happen, there's all years, if not lifetimes of work that needs to happen for, for that uh, uh, shift to occur in um, the elevation of consciousness. So I want to look, if it sounds too good to be true, it is not true. Be aware of false prophet because there are many of them out there. I'm just giving you, a, a, you know, a, a kind of a, a, a warning out there because honestly, the way the planet is now where people are more than ever open to spiritual work and to spiritual knowledge and understanding, if true information was falling on the lap, the planet and humanity will, would in a few years be in a completely different place. False knowledge is more damaging than anything else because a lot of these uh, 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 and people who are doing this they they come in multiple level multiple tiers the first tier is the one that i call the twilight masters these are genuinely people who initially started ascending first level of ascension which is a giant energy bump but who did not do the real work of working on their emotional intelligence and their shadow work where now the shadow as they grew in energy and became very big, is not projected on the outside. Now, these people cannot wrestle with their inner demons who are now external, and they become the perfect pawn for dark energies to manipulate. Although they speak the language of ascension, and they appear and conduct themselves in a manner that appear to be ascended, but they, their action is dramatically different than what they are saying. You have eyes, look at what you are seeing. Don't just listen, but witness them in their life. And that will tell you very quickly where they are. Second thing, if it sounds too good to be true, it is probably untrue. There is nothing, look, it, the Ascended Masters, uh, the bodhisattvas, to be more specific, 
can um, help alleviate the load of somebody's karma in very rare cases, but they will not remove your karma. They will alleviate for a moment the burden that you're carrying to help you find a breather or a handle, particularly when you're overwhelmed. That's it. The rest is yours. So I, I, I'm, I'm finding in this more and more that I'm, I'm hearing information or where people are saying this, this is completely incorrect. Moreover, the fact that you're an influencer and you have a lot of people that are following you and you also are uh, uh, on mass media and you know how to sell and how to market yourself does not make you a spiritual teacher. This I am finding to be really bizarre uh, and this behavior for me, uh, having been doing this since I was 17 years old and studying uh, spirituality since I was 17 years old, this is all new to me. To watch people who are not even a year old in their spiritual evolution, because they are influencers and they have a platform, they're all of a sudden teaching and doing all of this stuff, giving people advice, coaching. This is, this is uh, astounding to me because it took me years and years of training. Get yourself the correct information. If in your heart you really desire to do this and you're really genuine, study. Do not engage in you because you're going to incur negative karma for leading people. Don't you have the fear of God? I just don't understand this. That, that you would start pretending to be something that you're not and start leading people on a path when in fact you cannot hide to yourself. When you stand in the mirror alone, I know a lot of the people who are trying to do this have what I call the imposter syndrome. Where by themselves in their own, you know, in, in their own home, when they look at themselves in the mirror, they are crying inside because their soul is standing there judging them and telling them that you're lying. If you're going to do this and you really want to do this, educate yourself. For my students and my clients, I give them a reading list. It's about a three to four page documents with all of these books that they should be reading. If you're going to really do this, educate yourself. Ascension basically is getting a PhD in divinity. And if you're going to be an Ascension teacher or you're going to be a spiritual teacher, you need to have information. Not only information, but you need to have, it's the threefold flame. It's wisdom, love, and power. And the wisdom is nothing more than power used rightly. Look, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just one person, and I know what I'm saying is very unpopular. Okay? But I just want you to think for a moment about what people are saying and promising. And, and if you're in the culture of the hack and, you know, the medicine and the stuff that will accelerate your growth by 500 years or 100 years in, just by taking a pill, I'm telling you, you're going you're, you're gonna to fall down. This is not genuine. There is no shortcut for this. The slow way, the gradual way, is the sure way toward a century. Anyway, thank you all for listening to me, sending you deep love, and I'll talk to you next week. Thank you.